Roundtable podcast. I'm your boy Corey G. Small arms Arnie. Uh, small arms Danny. Army. Okay. I said yeah, I tried to out. say small arms shout army. You start off the I just I, I really <laughs> It's Shout because when I walked in, Danny was shirtless. It fucked me up. And I was like, this guy is the general. And then we got at Trey Speed and the graphic gangster himself. <laughs> cool, Susan. You got like Danny shirtless this stuck in your head fucking. right now or what? Yeah, he's white as a ghost. I couldn't even fucking, I couldn't see him. And then uh, we yeah. got Tyler Galbraith today. Shout out. Shout out Tyler Galbraith. He won the bodybuilding show and Definitely became an elite powerlifter. Definitely not fucking small. 4 a.m. crew homie is in the building. Yeah. Yeah. We we don't have a clap meter. No. A clap meter. Yeah. Like, like we could push oh, the button. Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> soundboard. Yeah, yeah, we need this fucking yeah. sound. Can we get one yeah. of those? Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, probably. Kyle, could Kyle yeah. would thrive with that. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Would he? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah maybe like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You might get a little carried away, I think. Yeah, that's maybe. what I'm saying. <laughs> maybe. Jeez. Yeah, there's just explosions and like the one that's in the gym's like. Durr. We should do some custom yeah, yeah, ones yeah. to say like yeah. you're small. Yeah, you're, you're small. Like, yeah. Hey. You can voice Listen. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> shout out Trayvon Dier's vintage game. I'm rocking the Memorial. This is a fucking Extra large. Fucking small. This is a <laughs> fucking large. Dude, the first thing I Treadway said, checked it. Yeah. First, Cole checked it. First thing I said whenever you walked in, I was like, there's no way that's a large. <laughs> no way. I said because These are the kind of friends I have. It's vintage. <laughs> yeah. so it's what, vintage. Yeah, talk, what, what year? What year are we talking here? Do you need me to catwalk this motherfucker? Yeah. Trey, tell him about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have experience. So it's, with a, that. it's a yeah. So it's an it's a '90s memorial shirt. But so people will need to remember though that <laughs> back in the day people were smaller. So clothing. <laughs> yeah, literally. So I agree. Yeah. Clothing sizes like the average size was smaller. Hmm. So like a, you it's know fair. what I mean like Definitely back not in helping the, me here. Yeah. yeah. So back in the day, like an adult like large would be like, like an medium. adult like small now or something like that. Not medium. Obesity. Yeah. <laughs> but also no, like the original so I remember when <laughs> I first medium? when I first started looking at Rolex, I remember like I was so pumped to try one on and it was like a thirty thirty meter like they wore small ass watches back then too. I was like, This is like a fucking chick watch. I can't wear this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Chick so watch. yeah, everything was just smaller. Yeah, now we're smaller. fucking swole up. Yeah. Not small. Yeah. Really filling it out. <laughs> Not small, <laughs> Danny, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. All right, Tyler, what's up? What's up, man? Thanks for having me on. Yeah, man. We're excited to have you here. So talk about, obviously, we did this thing where we went bodybuilding one day, powerlifting the next day. Uh, we can use some of these sound bites for that thing we call a documentary that we're doing. Mm -hmm. So give us your feedback. Uh, what was something that surprised you about the process? What was something that, you know, was more difficult than you thought it would be? Like, just like your overall kind of overarching. <clears throat> now that you've had a couple of weeks to kind of decompress. Right. Um... I don't know. The process leading up to it, I mean, really didn't change much for us. I mean, we always lift heavy. I like three, that answer. Yeah, we lift heavy three days a week. And then Thursday, Friday, we don't really lift heavy. So we just kind of get a nasty pump and we fucking check out ourselves in the mirror. I mean, that's what it is. Whoa. I mean, hit that light, homie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hit that good light. No mirror is safe. Yeah. No mirror no, is safe. Yeah. No fucking car window is safe. <laughs> fucking facts. No one's safe out car here. Car window is a cheat code yeah. for sure. <laughs> So really nothing about that process other than the weird shit like shaving your legs and getting painted right. by Kiki. You keep, you keep bringing it's this so up. Bad, so bad, dude. I think that so you kind of secretly like it. Yeah. No, I fucking hate it. It's why I keep fucking bringing it. It's what it retired me from bodybuilding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hate it. We'll but yeah. But uh, overall, it really wasn't that out of the ordinary. No, I mean, training-wise, not really. Nutrition-wise, I mean, it changed a little bit. Like, I think it brought everybody had to, like, yeah. cut out the midweek, like, midweek this, midweek that, you know, yeah. extra beer or something. Yeah, yeah, But, I mean, nothing really yeah. changed, like, four, three, two weeks out. But when we started the weight cut mm. was when it got really weird because <laughs> – You ain't been that light in – No. High school? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well – What yes. do you walk around at usually? Usually I walk around, like – 210, 215. It honestly depends a lot with work. Like in the and summer. And you're 6'3? Six, 6'4. Six, six, four. Four. Yeah. yeah. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking not small. Yeah. <laughs> he's <laughs> not just fucking small in not small. any way. Not a small dude. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead. Wait, so, Tyler, let's talk about the nutrition because cause I'm very envious because you have the metabolism of basically like a fucking freak to where you can eat literally whatever you want. So, let's break down your diet before the cut. What were you eating? Well, uh, <laughs> like blow some people's minds. Well, I mean, I was to go off your metabolism point. I've always been like kind of light. Like in high school, I was like 160, 170. Yeah. I mean, I was always kind of skinnier than Hooper, when I was super athletic, right? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I played basketball and football, yeah. Which you were a freak. Like, you were slamming and shit, right? Yeah, windmills, yeah I saw you know. windmills. Did, did you, get any, you get any D1 down. offers? Uh, well, yeah, I, not no, not not D one, but uh, in football, I actually got offers to Ohio Dominican and then Marietta Muskingum. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so football, yeah, then basketball. Uh, long story short, uh, senior year got cut kind of short. Me and the coach kind of got in a little uh, disagreement. Gotcha. So gotcha. But yeah. anyways, like you were like a top tier athlete for I, sure. I mean, yeah, I think I was pretty solid. Yeah. Humble brag, humble, humble brag. brag. All right, all right. So then, all right. So now, like, but, what were yeah. you eating before the competition? Uh, so I mean, usually, uh, just a daily daily schedule. Get up at three, get here around three thirty. We train till I don't know five thirty six, and depending on where my job site is, I go home, make my food, which is usually something I got to eat like kind of light, but enough to fill me up throughout the day. So honestly, I've been doing just beef and veggies. I mean, one pound of beef and then a bag of veggies for lunch. Basic. And then love it. Yeah, yeah, and then I'll do a, the sweet potato with max protein in it. I mean, that's my lunch usually. And then that's if I want to have a snack or something, really, it's just. I mean, anything I find at the gas station that morning when you I knew that yeah, was going to yeah, come yeah, into play. I love yeah. the construct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I'll be the blue collar <laughs> gas station fucking vibe is fucking epic. Well, yep, dude, yeah. I mean, you, you, go, you go to the gas station morning, got to get gas, you got to get chew. I mean, you yeah. got to get something. <laughs> I yes. Mean, and then you're walking yeah. by everything. It looks so, so good. You're tired. You're in a bad mood because you kind of got to go to work. Dude. You know, you're going to get dirty. You gotta have it. I would hit the it, fucking. What's your go-to then? Two yeah, little. Yeah, de- listen, honey, I'm telling you mine buns? first. Honey two, <laughs> two little Debbie chocolates. Okay. And then I would go with the brownie one too. Yeah. And then I'd be super setting that with a fucking salami and cheese sandwich. Oh yeah. And fucking Fuck yeah. sometimes a banana. Dude. That was my fucking go-to for lunch in a coal mine, bro. Yep. So good. That's a <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> so good. Good. The go-to though is. You gotta know your gas stations. Okay. Being on the road a lot, you find your good gas stations. You gotta get a nice. What's your favorite gas right. station? Sheets. Sub, like for Sheets sure. or Dude, Speedway there, guy or there's, what? Uh, I like the Speedway across the street. Okay. Though, shout out Speedway. So they always <laughs> got some out. good snacks in there. There you yeah. go. I mean, go to right, really. So yeah, what, what are you picking up? Like Reese cups or a sub? Honestly, that's what. It, that's nice. What the Reese yeah. cup sub mix. Yeah. I love I it. I mean, something. You know, quick. you're about to hurt people's feelings because yeah, they yeah, know yeah, the way I you mean, look. <laughs> <laughs> but then, after, but yeah, so that's my diet at work. Then after work, I'll dinner usually if I'm running late, it's like Chipotle. Or honestly, I'll just do the beef and veggies again. But the spike every night is usually either one pint of ice cream or, you know, like the normal size tubs, like the peanut butter cookies and cream tub. Yeah, I'll yeah, usually yeah. do like half of those a night. Fuck yeah. This yeah. is fucking yeah. awesome. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> when we, when yeah. we play golf, I be that's, like, <laughs> that's like the amount I eat in like two days. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's impressive, Tyler. It, it's it wild. Bad. It, yeah. Yeah. Look at Danny. So, Danny's, Danny's biting over here. No, well, when we played golf the other week, he was it three pints in one day? You said you did one time. Yeah. So when so I we got can't gloss over that. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. That yeah. even made trade that, that was after a shoot. I had to do like twenty. <laughs> it was like probably twenty eighteen or something, and then I was just starving because I didn't know what I was doing. So I just depleted myself completely. And then after I did that, I said, dude, fuck this. I'm getting as much ice cream as I can. Three pints in one sitting. I was like, how did you amazing. digest that? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. You shit yourself. There's yeah, no yeah. way you digest <laughs> all that. <laughs> but the thing is, you're burning a shit ton of calories at work. Can Please, you, like, can you like, all day. tell the list, like listeners what you do for your job? Um, So I am a union laborer uh, slash pipe player for an excavating company. So we install water storm and sewer lines. Um... But, yeah, I mean, usually I'm the guy down the trench. I mean, anywhere from four foot deep to sometimes if you lay sewer line 20, 25 foot deep. So I'm the one down there laying the pipe, getting the ditch ready, making sure everything's on grade. When we set manholes, I mean, catch basins, the stuff that drains water off the road, the structures, you got to make sure those are graded out perfectly square. I mean, yeah, it's... It's not, I mean, it's not bad. When you're at Roosters on Friday (laughs) and someone asks you what you do, you you go... I lay pipe, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> the job has its perks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's tell them the story of the other day when you were super jacked and there was those people fighting about that girl. That you remember? Oh my! It's goodness. fucking epic. This is <laughs> so. This is really good. We, yeah, we, we're, we're in Columbus. You know, it's. I mean, not the most glamorous neighborhood. I mean, you have your characters, great people watching, and couple rolls up and we're all waiting for traffic to die down about 7:30 so we can take our plate off the road and start doing our work car pulls up and a lady goes hey that was you 
you. And we're all sitting there on the curb, like, kind of waiting, like, just to start. And we're like, what, what are you talking about? She's like, you at the red. I had the red max effort thermal on and yoked. <laughs> veins popping through this shirt for sure. But, yeah, she, she goes, you. She, he's, he's mad. He's mad I was checking you out yesterday. And he gets out of the car. Oh, yeah, God. you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, crazy. yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, she wants everybody she sees. I ain't putting my dick in her no more. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's amazing. It's all about like 7:30 in the street on like 7:30 in the morning street, on like a the same road a school's on. So it's I mean kind of, kind of <laughs> and she's yelling kind of this, yelling this in Miller Road. She goes to take off. Well, before he got out, he pulls the e brake on the car. She goes to take off, floors it. That <laughs> doesn't move. Back tires do not move one bit. That is fucking. And then great. and then eventually he got back in the car and probably pulled. Should should have get the e brake off and then. Took Did off. you like think you're about to get in a fight? Yeah, a hundred percent. You like what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. seven thirty in the morning. Yeah. yeah, I'm sitting there drinking my coffee and I'm just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm jacked. I yeah, can't yeah. Help yeah. It. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that that story might need to be featured on the Arms Army. For oh, sure. for sure, yeah. for sure. The when, you're, when, when you're causing you're problems, like, oh, when you're so too jacked. fucking jacked. Yes, causing marital problems downtown Columbus. So good. Shout out. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cole, you want that to happen to you? Oh, dude, I, mean, <laughs> I can only, I can only hope. You know, um, so obviously, like what you do and in your occupation, like training and everything like that, waking up before most of the guys can't fucking relate whatsoever, can they? Hashtag. Uh, <laughs> might be a t-shirt. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to speak for anybody else, but yeah, everybody's got their own job. Everybody's got their own. Day. I mean, everybody For gets sure. exhausted in their own way. Yeah, I mean. but you, you like you were saying, like after you did the competition like that, you were saying like some of the guys just couldn't believe like you did the powerlifting and the bodybuilding. Oh, you're show. talking about at work? Yeah, at work. Oh, at work. okay, yeah, at work. I got you, got you, got He's you. not yeah. saying talk shit on everybody. He's saying just. <laughs> well, no, I, I mean, I, no, I, you I, can't. Yeah. Like, yeah, I you just watching at home, you. you're probably soft. But yeah. whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you're small. <laughs> you're small. Uh, yeah, the guys at work. I mean, yeah, I mean, they got more respect out of the process. Of they got a ton of respect out of it. So I mean, yeah, before. Everybody works out after, or not everybody, but yeah. most young kids do. And you know, you get the whole, oh, you just go to the gym and look yourself in the mirror with all your boyfriends. You yeah, know, yeah, that, yeah, that type yeah, of yeah, thing. Of course. Know? Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. I mean, Dude, the blue collar humor around <laughs> fitness is fucking amazing. Oh, I used to get the same shit. Like, they, they come up with the most clever things to yeah. say. I don't even know where from. But yeah. after, yeah, after that, when they started seeing, because Trey and Kyle came out and did the day in the life thing out so there. So good. So, the whole thing leading up to that, they thought that was going to be so weird. Like, yeah. they did not know the thing. When they came out, did their thing, in and out, it was, like, seamless. Like, they yeah. weren't even there. They were like, And I showed them all the pictures, and they said, yeah. how? They did all that just yeah. in that little time? They couldn't believe it. That's pretty cool, And though. then after the show and the meet, they saw the stuff on Facebook and whatnot, and uh, they are like, dude, that's, like, super cool. That's, like, the same stuff Arnold and those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. He's, like, that's, he's like, that's literally what. Yeah, we you wanted to do growing up. I said, yeah, I know. Like, that's so cool. I'm not doing this for no reason. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I, I always think like my favorite was like I'd be working on a fucking pipeline or something for one of the sections, and there'd be like a bolt I couldn't get off, and it would be a dude oh, half my size yep. that's been underground for fucking thirty years. He'd come over and go. And you go, I thought you lifted weights. Like, I'm like, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I loosened it up. Yeah, it's so fucking funny. So. And some of the stuff out there, like, doesn't even relate to weightlifting. No. Like it, like, it can be something like I can jam a shovel down and try to. Yeah. Or, or if this is a good one. So if you're shoveling and say you pry back too hard and the dirt's too much, some of those are easy to snap. Yeah. Oh, my God. Take it easy, Hulk. Lay yeah, 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 yeah. You know all that, dude. <laughs> I had uh, one time I was on section, which is, like, in the coal mine. It's basically, like, when they when they hole out and take out, like, the figure this was the top of the earth, like, I don't know, 60 million years ago. So they're digging it out and then to put the roof support in. So if we're in four foot, they would have to put an eight foot rebar basically in the ceiling. So they basically have a thing that drills up. And they would take this bolt as eight feet, but you got your own in four feet. So they put it over it and they would bend it down. So this big motherfucker, he had huge ass forms, bend it down. They would take this boom, shove it into the ceiling and then bend the other four feet. And then it would go all the way in. Jeez. So I'm looking at that like, all right. I got yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> and so I jump in there. They, they literally called this dude Farmer, and he was fucking beast. And so I, I could not believe how fucking difficult it was. And this dude would do it for a whole fucking shift, Tyler. And I would be like, if he grabbed a hold of you, and that's what my stepdad Randy used to do for like five or six years. Right. So that's where he got so fucking yoked up. Because for a 16-hour shift, he'd be like, rant, rant. I mean, it just like... It's fucking unbelievable. Giant so, fucking last. Yeah, man. I just, <laughs> I just wonder if some of those guys then actually lifted weights, right. how fucking strong they would be. Right. So I got so much respect for that because I got humbled all the time, you know. And I thought, I, and I wasn't really that fucking strong then, but I thought I was. You know what I mean? So it was, it was pretty. Those some definitely like. There's some, some definitely man, farm sure. fucking blue collar dudes out there that could probably deadlift 600 pounds Dude. that don't even fucking know it. Yeah, or they or they can and <laughs> you don't believe them, and then yeah. they somehow show you because they find a video and you're like, what? Well, like, yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> exactly. It's pretty cool. Um, talk to me about like the things that you reached and did. Obviously, you won the show. Your parents <laughs> were there rooting you on. Like, talk about kind of how that vibe, that whole thing was, man. Uh, I mean, it was awesome. I mean, like. The show and everything leading up to it, I, I always wanted to do a bodybuilding show, but never really, like, had, I guess, the group around me to push me and, like, help hold me accountable and stuff. So that helped out a lot. And then one of the show and everything was, I mean, it was awesome. I mean, uh, what, what was awesome about it, too, was because uh, I signed up for a first-time novice bodybuilding open, like, just first-time show. Yeah. And I get there, and they have me in with Classic Physique. Mm -hmm. And I was looking for first time just because that's what I signed up, signed up for. And they're like, oh, well, you're the only one in that category, so you're going to win, but we're going to put you on stage with the Classic Physique guys. I said, well, that's stupid. Can I just compete in the Classic Physique guys? Mm -hmm. And uh, you, Zach, and Cam weren't, weren't in that Classic yeah. Physique, so I was against four different guys that were random. So it was like we're kind of like competition against yeah. random people. And I ended up winning it. And another dude that was actually kind of serious, like he he was pretty ripped up, and he looked yeah. like he put a lot of – like. He probably did like a 12, 16 yeah, week prep. Did it put a lot of time? Yeah. yeah. And beating him was really cool. And then uh, seeing my parents afterwards, like seeing them there, seeing my dad and mom, how like pumped they were. Because yeah. I mean, they haven't really been to a competitive event of mine. Since I mean, high school, probably. Yeah, since high school. That's so cool. Yeah. And so it, for them to be there, my dad, he grew up, he liked Arnold. He lifted yeah. weights. So he gets it. Yeah, he gets it. I mean, he, he he's he's familiar with Arnold and the pumping iron. And then seeing them, just seeing how pumped they were, dude, it was a whole nother level. And then get. Having them come to Empire the next day yeah. and watch the craziness of, like, not just What me. we really do. Yeah, not just me, but yeah. Peters. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You, yeah, Callahan hitting yeah. 700. Like, yeah. it, it was just so cool to have them see both sides of what I do. Because, I mean, they know I get up early Yeah, shit but you don't have context to it till you yeah, see what they Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's like, fucking like, awesome. Like, they knew what I did, but they don't know, like, what we do. I like, just know, like, your dad and mom was beaming. Yeah. They were so fucking proud. Oh, I love awesome. shit like that. Like, like that picture, uh, I, I forget which one you guys yeah. took about, of me flexing my yeah. abs with the tan, seeing yeah. them after the show. Like, dude, that I'll forever have that. Yeah. That's amazing. So cool. Yeah. That's what's so awesome about having these guys capture stuff, bro. Oh, it's, it's times of our lives that yes. a lot of people – see us capturing it and some people at first are like oh why you guys take video or everything yeah. but n that you're literally capturing moments that you can hold with yourself forever and it becomes like a time piece for your life really. absolutely well joe <clears throat> bayless came the other day and trey did did some great shots in the videos of him yeah and i sent them to him you know fast too they're like yeah to to him by like eight something he's like damn i didn't know like you got all that i'm like so that's the key they always, you know, the West Side dudes, and not Joe specifically, but Louie in general just didn't like fucking social media. But our shit's not interrupting what we do. It's not like I'm saying, hey, hold on, everybody. I got to take a fight. Like, yeah. it's, it's just happening, <laughs> right? So it's different. So it's not interrupting the intensity or the workout. I would argue that it adds to it because now we can actually look back in it. I'm telling you, Ramos has told me a million times, I wish I had a quarter of the stuff I saw in person right. that we were doing that we could look back at they just don't have anything you know so it's like it's once again if you're in a commercial gym and you're fucking you know got your tripod and you're taking a bunch of time and you know yeah, yeah. this is different <laughs> what we're doing is different and so it was funny that he got to experience it um it's a guy that's helped me a ton he's a really good lifter og and he was really appreciative the next day like oh okay i can see my position like he's looking at that from a technical standpoint too because it was a pr for him it was he's pretty cool to lift with us tomorrow too. yeah he's i think he's going to show up for the mock meet tomorrow and just to come check you guys that'd out be sweet. Are you yeah coming? Uh, i'll probably be in around that time cool, yeah. yeah it depends on how much beer i drink today 
Hell yeah. That's what I always think about. Yeah, so speaking <laughs> of beer drinking, Tyler, what's your favorite beers? Bush Latte, for sure. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. For the farmers, for the farmers, yeah, yeah, for the yeah, farmers. Yeah. Shout out Corn Uncle John, Jeff Galbraith, Doyle Galbraith. Shout out, no free shout outs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't do this. Dude, Bush, Bush Light's no. banger. It's not, it's not bad. It's like a college boy's yeah. like mm-hmm. banger, you know. It's better than uh, natural simple. light. It gets the job done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Way better, way better. <laughs> Or the Bush key, cheap, too. Key, key yeah. Affordable, affordable. Yeah, it I think is. it's like twenty one, twenty one forty three for like a thirty rack or something. Yo, yeah. I can, u- I years? can usually <laughs> listen. I usually am a grimy dude when it comes to beer. I'm fucking only fucking top notch. I can't do it. We see, I, Classy I, I can't stomach I can't the Guinnesses it, as much. Like I gotta I chew my beer. Dude. I gotta drink a steak. Drink it's just a different. Steak. I mean. Really <laughs> like, yeah, the, other, say, the say, light the light beer gives me a super fucking headache. I feel like I'm drinking Aquafina. <laughs> Aquafina, Aquafina? what? Dude, just down it. It's <laughs> it, it, it's like it's not doing it, nothing it, for me though. Yeah. No, you just gotta yeah. drink, you know, double the amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's got <laughs> class. He's a he's yeah. a man of class. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know I would say I consider myself pretty well well diverse in beer selection. Yeah, I can go from Guinness to yeah, you can super with the Bush yeah. Latte to drink yeah. some IPAs. There's really nothing I don't. I guess like <clears throat> wine. I'm not a huge wine guy. No, seltzer I'm guys. A wine guy. The only seltzers I'll fuck with are White Claw. Yeah, yeah there you no go. White, white Claw, claw only. No white Claws for me. Too. See, I like the. I think the fucking Nooner shits pretty good. Though. High Nooners are. High, high Nooners yeah, are. Rachel has those. Gold, that I fucking drink the, those. They're good. The high Nooners are good. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. the Truly stuff, I can't. Nah, I can't those things. I drink margaritas, baby. That's all I. I drank a couple of those when I was down the Virgin Islands, and they fucking hurt my head. I don't like the Trulys. That and then they're really sugary, right? Yeah, super sugary. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, uh, Three Tigers wants to do old school beer. That'd be super Ooh. wet. Yeah, me and Dustin are going to meet with yeah. them. That'd be super fucking sick, right? We should go do a, there t- a taste test or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. I just think it'd be cool content. Yeah. yeah, we're going to do a podcast with them, but having, like, the be able to have our beer fucking right there would be that'd, fucking sick. We should just go do it there. That'd be amazing. No, I, yeah. I already talked to him. I, I told him. Because with these, we just need to buy one more set of these. When it's so, when it's loud, it doesn't matter. But I want to wait till he's like on a four-hour wait because he <laughs> yeah. has that shit and just go fucking podcast. That'd be amazing. Fuck yeah, yeah let's do it. Yeah, yeah, it'll be really cool. I mean, the dude came from a food truck to a small place to now this fucking gangster ass place. Great Super story. fucking sick. Yeah. yeah, I don't even know the full story. It's got to be good. You yeah, know what I mean? For sure. So, um, Tyler, was that your first time you went elite? Yes. Yeah. That's also a big fucking at, deal too. At it was the it was, lightest weight. Too. It was also my first time in in multiply. Hell yeah, bro! That was the first time I ever did it. Hell yeah! Like it was uh, because the the time I had the biggest shot at it, I didn't make weight. I totaled seventeen fifty five, but I weighed two hundred three. Seventeen thirty five. At least that's what Westside was telling me at the time. I don't know that I was looking at the drug free totals. Mm-hmm. I was going off just the total yeah, they went off right. of at that time. I had to do seventeen thirty five at ninety eight. And I cut from like 212, and I just didn't get it, and I was about to die, and I was like, "Fuck this," <clears throat> because I was—that was the first time I squatted 700, and I wanted to make sure I got that. Mm-hmm. And to your point, like when you see your family, that's what's wild is when you still have a competition in your life, and your family can root for you. Mm-hmm. Like I have deadlift meets where I can hear Alex when he's a little kid, "Don't go, Daddy." That's awesome. I had the that's first time I squatted 700. My grandfather came in as I was in the warm-up room. And Louie was already there. That's awesome. It, it wouldn't have mattered what you put on my back that day. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I wasn't yeah. letting that fucking, that, that, like, leave without me getting yeah, that. Yeah, Are you sure. fucking kidding me? Yeah. So it's like, those things make a big difference because there's not a lot of times as an adult that your family can come and root for you. It just doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. And yeah. people don't have it represented in their lives. So that's why I highlighted that because I think that's a huge key. I, I think a competition like that, too, kind of like kind of creates a sense of unity like uh, amongst your family again. I mean, like, yeah, you're always, like, one, oh, yeah. you're always family and everything. But, like, bringing together for, like, a cause. Like, yeah. And, and yeah, the cause may be for one person. They're maybe. rooting for yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. It's like baseball season. Exactly. It's like whatever. It's same difference, yeah. bro. It, it's awesome. Yeah, I agree yeah, with yeah. that. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Like, hearing, like, Dad's got a booming voice. Like yeah, high school, I'm sure you heard yeah, it. Yeah, in high school you'd hear it in the bleachers. You'd hear it throughout the whole gymnasium. Yep. I haven't heard that since. That'd give you chills a little bit, yeah, bro. Yeah, it did, dude. Yeah. Like That's before you're awesome. about to take a big squat. Like for me, like I I, I opened up at five thirty five, <laughs> smoked it, jumped to five ninety, missed it. Just I don't know what happened. Just yeah, bad rep. But third one, I was like, dude, if if I can't get the squat, my day's fucked. Like, yeah. I, I'm basically competing for nothing. Sure. And fucking, when you get under there, you grinded it. Buddha, let's go. And I'm oh, like, yeah. holy shit. I'm Fuck like, yeah. I'm like, ah, yeah. No, no give way. me that. Yeah, it, it, it kind of like puts the gun to your head. You know, you're like, damn. Like, I gotta get this <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. Like, fucking dad's here. Like, I fucking damn. love that. Yeah. And that might have been the edge that day. It, yeah, it could have been. Yeah. I mean. Well, and you, and once again. The difference between doing a bodybuilding show and not, 
like, dude, you smoke 590 on that second one. Probably right. if you don't do it, you, you haven't been that light in forever. So, like, right. you know, the numbers we still were able to do because three of us went elite. Mm -hmm. Cam got a state record. Yeah. Like, to do that after doing the show is epic, dude. Uh, three world records, right? Yeah. yeah it's that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. It's super good. Unbelievable. Well, I think we need to go to a break. So, Max, okay. have a commercial? Yeah, let's do it. Run it. All right. Commercial time. Run it. Yeah. <laughs> The Roundtable Podcast is brought to you by Max from Muscle. Uh, with us today is the Graphic Gangster and Corey Gregory. Corey, yes. can you please talk to us about the official Morgan Wade collab, Rising Country Superstar, Morgan Wade, talk about it. First off, Morgan Wade's a beast, and she's been fucking with Max Effort for a long time, and she's been listening to the content. We were unaware for a long time, and as she started to grow in popularity, she started reaching out, tagging us up. She gave us an opportunity as she's been growing uh, with a high amount of popularity right now. She's a beast to do the no, not okay Max Effort collab that Cole designed off of her favorite yes. Jordans, which is super dope. Yeah. So, yeah. So, basically, whenever, you know, the thing came about that we were going to officially collab with her, I was like, well, shit, I know that Morgan rocks. She has a sneaky good J collection. Yeah, she does. So, I was like, yo, listen, Morgan, send me, like, the top three of your favorite Jordan shoes, and I'll try to, like, riff off something like that. She sent over this sick fucking pair that had the pink, the color this way. off green, and like the neon yellow. And I was like, oh shit, that's the one. So yeah, then swagged out her logo, the not okay. We got a custom Max Effort hit, a little yep. smiley emoji smiley. inside the O. Which you is know, sneaky great. Super authentic, swag super fucking fresh. You gotta get yourself some. Well, and, and Morgan said that she didn't want to change anything about the actual apparel. She loves our hoodies, she wears her stuff all the time, and that there's a lot of people that have asked her that battle mental health, want to support it. It's mental health awareness month, I believe, also. So this is a mm -hmm. great time for us to, to launch this. And so go grab it over at maxeffermuscle.com. Yep. All right, back to the show. We're back. And we're back. <laughs> Thank you for listening to that commercial, uh, Mr. Gregory. Talk yeah, so usually this is when we go to the smallest of the arms guy, where he usually asks a question. He does have the smallest arms. It is fact. Well. It was close to having the smallest. Mine were 16.69 inches. Yes. False. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you mean, Danny? Yeah. Well, weren't yours the smallest on the they platform? Were. Yeah. They Danny, were. Danny, were you third place? No, I was third Daddy place. You were second. second. Yeah. Yeah. So coming off the second place in the NAFO meet, what do you got for us <laughs> <Yeah>. today? <laughs> well, I, guess I think your shit's an illusion, though, and I think it we is. proved that. Cause it is. I already knew Danny's mine. Danny's all buys, no tries. Oh! Fired. I mean, he's just, he's just mad That's, that he came fifth. Yeah. And he has the smallest arms on stage, so. <laughs> I am. I'm upset about that. Rachel told me, she's like, is this hurting your confidence? Because, you know, you're just getting older. I was like, not really, because I'm still in the fucking game. And Danny's fucking arm is a fucking illusion. And I knew it this whole time, and it just proved it. Because it should have been 17, bro. You're, you're soft. You yeah. better do some fucking rep progression. <laughs> Immediately. I did yesterday, actually. Yeah. <laughs> We, did, we had the uh, the God of Thunder buy and try pump this morning. So uh, what, what was it? Can you read it off, uh, please? Yeah. Please, yeah. please hold. Um, <laughs> yeah, what do we got here? Jeez, we're, we're really taking this stuff to a whole nother level. No, we yes. are the arms guys. There's definitely yeah. some stuff in the works. <laughs> we, we have a lot of big plans. Like I don't we're think the people are ready. <laughs> All right, so we got um, it's a four set super set. So you go 15 dumbbell hammer curls, kind of like on the lighter side, and then you go, you know, you put them down, then pick up some heavy and do 10 alternating heavy dumbbell dumbbell curls, and then straight into 15 uh, heavy or not heavy, uh, 15 dumbbell rollbacks, straight into six like basically as heavy as you can go dumbbell rollbacks. How many how many sets? Like six to nine? Yeah, six or nine. Six, six to nine six sets, to nine approximately. Sets. Yeah. Yeah. Can you talk about the name inspiration? What, what was the name again? What's the name? Uh, the God of Thunder. By <laughs> 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 Which, wait, what, 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 what is the inspiration, Danny? You, I don't fucking know. What is I did, I, something was happening inside my arms. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. there's like a gremlin like a trying to get out. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, like based off of like Thor, right? And Thor oh yeah, it's has definitely like Thor. the hammer. I mean, okay. So in Thor uh, Ragnarok, there is an epic scene where he's about to go ape shit on all these people right mm -hmm. and so he he literally has like lightning coming out of his eyes and he's like coming down on these guys it's pretty much it's colon is what i'm talking about yeah. like there's like this epic shot and then he okay. just goes crazy yeah. so, i believe you danny yeah. i believe your arms are smaller and than Chris, I, I mean chris hemsworth is definitely not small okay. either so all right. just saying. Not small. 
Uh, super yeah. inspirational. It is inspirational. Yeah. You have any uh, questions for Tyler? Yeah. Uh, well, my first question is when – I guess when did you start training with the 4AM crew? Um, so I started training with the 4AM crew at the end of 2019, the fall – basically the fall before COVID-21. Yeah. It hasn't yeah. really been that long. Yeah. No. How did it you feels arrive way longer school, than that? Right? How did you end up at old school? In yeah. The first um, place? So – I followed Corey's stuff since like 20, basically since he came out with the squad every day thing. And mm -hmm. I've just been following him ever since. And then um, moved to Newark and trying to find gyms to train at. No, nowhere's really open around four. Um, and then I'm like, dude, old school is like 20 minutes away in Batasca. Hell I mean, yeah. The only thing that ever stopped me was my big truck got like 10 miles a gallon. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I'm like, that's got to be like an expense. Like driving yeah, there. Yeah, sure. I was like, dude, like I got to train there. I got to find somewhere to train came to old school and then yeah now yeah i'm here fuck yeah fuck yeah trey you got any questions for me i don't you guys hang out all the time yeah we do yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. well my other like follow-up oh, question Danny's still fucking asking follow-up yeah, question, question is yeah. like now that you've been in it for a while like what i mean there's some <laughs> obvious ones of, like what keeps you coming back or like like and i guess the other question too is like with bodybuilding did you have any interest in doing bodybuilding or did this just come up and you're like oh yeah fuck it i'll just do it um with bodybuilding, I mean, I, I started because of Arnold originally. That's why I started lifting. I mean, shout out. I yeah. mean, I think everybody can kind of everyone. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I've always known bodybuilding. Kind of followed it. Kind of always wanted to do a show, but I'd always say I'm gonna do a show, never really sign up. You know, get off whatever diet I was doing, and basically lying to myself saying I was gonna do a show and just and keep then, lifting heavy. Yeah. Pretty, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then came here, and then when the talk of the show and the meet and everything started, just kind of, yeah, working that working. I mean, yeah, yeah working. And then uh, just got it got held accountable. It was a no brainer for you. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. didn't, it wasn't really a choice. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> well, I'm pretty it, sure it wasn't a choice. I mean, no. I'm pretty sure you said no. You're doing a bodybuilding show the seventh. I mean, why not? Okay. Well, I mean, it's like the perfect place for accountability, discipline, consistency, all that oh, stuff. Yeah. But like, what was like the most difficult thing for you during this process leading up to the show? Honestly, the week. So the week of the weigh-in and the show, I woke up Monday at 2.13, and I was supposed to compete. You look nervous a little. <laughs> uh, yeah, I walked in. I'm like, gee, I weighed 2.13. <laughs> yeah. You had one cheat too many, didn't you, yeah, Tyler? Did. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I did. Well, it worked, so. It, I mean, yeah, but then I had to weigh in at under 198, 198.5 uh, Saturday. So I'm like, fuck, that's like 13 pounds. I'm like, this, this or 15 pounds, this isn't good. So <laughs> switched just, I switched up my diet to, like, fish and asparagus, which I'm not really a big seafood guy. And uh, just cutting out all my water, just slowly. Like I got through the first three days of heavy training. Wednesday night started cutting water, started cutting my food. Didn't really eat Thursday. I ate like a little bit in the morning or at lunch for work, and then after that I didn't really eat or drink water until weigh in. And dude, like the oh, feeling fuck. of like how <laughs> you feel dry, so like, small. I bro. felt so small and <laughs> just like I like I was I a sponge it. being squeezed out. And yeah. I, and I woke up uh, Saturday. I weighed one ninety five point seven. Like, oh, fuck, is that what you weighed in yeah. at? Dude, that's remarkable. Yeah. No, <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, no, somehow I was like 198.5 at the scale on a uh, oh, – I was 198.2 at Empower, but yeah, I woke yeah. up at my house at 195.7. So I don't know what happened, but maybe just nerves. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. So that's that, that was really it. I mean, yeah. then once the weigh-in happened, I mean, I smashed pancakes and everything. I started literally like – seeing myself b blow up on the car ride there. that's like wild I, to watch too oh, it's it, like it was fucking crazy. pulsing yeah. Yeah. Like even uh, uh, Jake the uh, unofficial lunge guy yeah whenever he, he even <laughs> shout out Jake <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> Tyler, he, Tyler Tyler just just clarify who's the real lunge guy this guy right here <laughs> but clip he, even yeah, tag. Yeah. <laughs> clip and tag fucking Jake so he, good he even noticed though when he was driving cause like when we started my veins were real small and like yeah. you could barely see him. and then like by the time we were getting there dude it looked like I had a full pump like yeah. how it does in the gym where yep. it's like popping off my skin he's like Dude, are you okay? I'm yeah. Like, yes. like, yeah, I'm perfect. It right says now. exactly what I'm <laughs> supposed to be doing. Yeah. It's working. <laughs> it's working. So good. So good. Uh, just training with you guys, especially everybody getting ready for the meet, and then the four of us that did both. That camaraderie, the Annie being up to that level, you could feel it. Um, it was, uh, and for me being healthy enough to get through it, mm -hmm. that was like something I'll just never forget. It was Epic. so exciting. And I walked in the second day extremely confident that I could go squat what I needed to squat. So it was like, and now, 
looking, you know, just to meet from a standpoint, I'm super optimistic of what can happen. Oh, yeah. I think we all got through that, and now it's like there's a new standard, there's new possibilities. I can feel, like, the co- uh, the cohesion is that yeah. of the group. And then also I think there was a cap that was kind of taken off and thrown that says, like, ooh, okay, yep. the bar was raised, the possibilities are there. I honestly am starting to believe I can squat 800 at 181 straight up. I was gonna say, what's next now? In yeah, your head? probably meet. Or is there a meet in the fall for me? I know these guys. <laughs> Go tell what yeah. you, Tyler. You're gonna uh, well, mock meet tomorrow. Well, do a fucking it's, meet July. It's, well, this <laughs> here's my plan. Came up with this yesterday in the shower. Yeah, <laughs> this guy <laughs> is sneaky strong. Facts. <laughs> this guy smoked 470, 470 yesterday. Easy and could take. Any record he wants at the old school board. Yep. So he sends me that, and he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna do the, I might do the Empire Meet in July." Because Big Mike's already signed up. Yeah, for shout, it. Out yeah. shout out, shout Big out, Mike. Big Mike. Big Mike. Yeah. Mike's leading the charge on this one, man. Yeah. 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 he's leading. <laughs> Clip that too. Yeah, so he's like, "Hey, I might Can't do this. I might yeah. do this Empire Meet in July." So I'm, I'm like, "Okay." I'm like, "Well, I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do one with you if you're gonna do it. I mean, when are you gonna compete again?" And I'm thinking, I'm like, "Okay, I totally lead at 198 just, just a couple weeks ago." If I can total lead at 220 in July, and then I know all of us are going to do the meet in December. Mm-hmm. If I can go to 242, which I can get up there, I can total. Yeah, you got to wait 221. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, I can total three weight classes elite in one year. So that'd I mean, be that's fucking. That'd be so sick. Another notch on the belt would be. Yeah, cool. yeah. that's that's the shit they write fucking articles about, kid. <clears throat> Big right one. Yeah. That's fucking sick. That That's sick. why when I'm like real old and I'm like trying to be like Lily and I'm t- I don't want well with Tyler Galbraith we did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah. And then that motherfucker he went and did it. I think in July and he totaled this. And then he went, That's what Louis did, right? You're right. And and, 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 and all I had to do was eat vegetables. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> and that is hey, and that is not that is not making fun of Louis. That is he did it for so many years and he never forgot. He'll, he would know exactly the total of the year, yep. and I am trying to aspire to be that way. <laughs> so good. That's Because ex- you guys all know we've no, all yeah, watched yeah, those yeah, videos. Yeah. You know, so fucking good. I love it. Perfect. 1493, 198, wait, 195 in the morning. You know, he did. In the morning? Yeah, we did. We used a black band for that whole cycle. <laughs> and that, I mean, that, that's yeah, what. Yeah, it's spot on. I'm not going to fucking forget it. Yeah. Oh, Perfect. Fucking spot so on. good. Perfect. Um, Tyler. We're going to bring up bench. We're going to figure the bench out. Yes, we are. Because yeah. when our bench goes up, I think a lot of the guys in the cruise totals will be somewhat untouchable. 100%. You know what I mean? We're that we're that close right now. I think everybody is 100 pounds under what this should be. Benching. I agree with that, 100%. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It, I think maybe not Cole. No. I, Cole might be I, 50 under. I'm right there. I think I just need a little bit more shoulder stability. Yeah, you're a 405 yeah, I think you're 100 yeah. all day. Yeah. under. Yeah. yeah. 500 all day. It's just like, it's just, I, you know, because – Matheny knows he knows how to fucking squat and deadlift to a T just like you do. You're the young it's almost, Kenny Patterson. It's almost yeah. like people yeah. just need to unlearn how to bench and just literally restart Relearn. like you're in yes. high school. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like literally from the exact same. I think we've spent so much time on the big, uh, you know, total movers that um, because we do them so often that there is like some guys that are really, I mean, top, top elite at this, experts at it. It's like we got to do the same thing on bench. Yeah. yeah. And now, honestly, that I'm getting healthy again, I can start to push that too. Because if I start beating motherfuckers with one shoulder, they're going to all hear about it. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, that should not be fucking happening. <laughs> I'm just going to fucking tell like, you guys. <laughs> like, because what did you use for the 10 by 10 the other day? Uh, 235. 235. That's what I'm saying. Like, That's if fucking you, if strong. If you're 235, there's no reason why, like, I'm basically beating you on bench. I know. It's you all. Know? Like, yeah. there's, like, literally it's, no reason. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's. I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's all it's all positioning. It's just like golf, Tyler. When 100%. your driver's working, your putter don't work. You know what right. I mean? Like it's just it's the same shit. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you have your days. You know. You have your days. That's what uh, Preston came over to me today. He said, uh, "Man, that feel looks easy today." I said, "Yeah, it's just like golf, dude. Today's it feels like awesome, and then you know tomorrow it's gonna feel like shit. Maybe it's just yes. it's that's you lifting. Never know. Yeah, yeah, you never fucking know, bro." So good. I hope I have more better good days than bad days. I had enough bad days for a couple of years. I'm ready to fucking <laughs> have a bunch of string of good days. So, okay. anything else, Tyler? Anything else you want to share with the fucking roundtable podcast community about uh, epicness of that weekend? Any sound? Any sound bites that you want to, that we'll put on? You know, fucking Netflix. No. 4 a.m. Crew for life, motherfucker. 4 a.m. Crew for life. Do you have any, <laughs> you have any <laughs> questions for us? Don't be surprised yeah. for you guys. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Fuck, Ask man. fucking Trey a question. Yeah. For God's fucking sakes. get Trey on the mic. Yeah. 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 He's got his yeah. mic yeah. the whole time. <laughs> He's just listening, smoking. Yeah. <laughs>
is good. What's the honeys looking like this weekend, Trey? Oh, that's the real question. He's not even answering Dude, it. Trey's going to get in trouble if he, if he answers this question. It doesn't come out this week. <laughs> <laughs> He's got time. He's got time. <laughs> he can adjust. Jeez, yeah, I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> Next. Next. <laughs> Tyler, I got one for you. So, so it, really, when you came into the gym, that's when I was, like, fucking really hurt. You really haven't trained for me with me that long being remotely together. Right. And so th- so talk about that a little bit because some of these guys have seen me like that. Mm-hmm. Cole seen me like Trey, Dan. But, like, a lot of the guys that are in the group right now, besides the OGs, really haven't seen kind of what they've seen just recently or at the last couple meets from me. Right. Um, well, when I came to the gym, too, I was hurt, too. So like for That's the fir- true. Yeah, so, like, for the first, like, couple months, like, I wasn't able to prove myself or nothing. So, I'm like, damn, That's right. Dude. You had the QL shit going on, too. Yeah. Yeah. And then with you training, I mean, like, uh, I mean, I know me and some of the other guys talk about it a lot. Like, whenever you don't front squat, like, the intensity is just different. Yeah, and you yeah. weren't able to for so long. Mm-hmm. And now that you're getting back into it, it really just, like, holds everybody accountable. Because you know and if I can, I'm going to. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> and, and you don't. I mean, you don't give a fuck who it is. You'll step on anybody's throat in the gym. I mean, yeah. it's. I'm it's, trying to. Yeah, it's how it is. And <laughs> yeah. if we start getting beat by you and everything, then it shows like, hey, like, why aren't you guys progressing? Why am I progressing? And yeah. I went through all the stuff I just did. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just it raises the competition level a whole nother because I mean, like. And I'm trying to beat you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you guys all know it. <laughs> and, and like, I don't want you to beat me. I, I, don't. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, what it is, multi. You told single, me, and that's whatever, that dude. was yeah. one of my favorite things. You said, "Gee, I don't care how many fucking suits you got on. I ain't trying to lose to you." Yeah. And I fucking love that because then you're not looking at it. You're just looking at it as pure competition. And that's what I look at with Callahan. Yeah. Callahan like is beating me. I don't care what weight class he's in. No nope. suit, no suit, like. He is fucking strong. Well, and that's dude. how it needs to be. I mean, that's yeah. what, I think that's what drives us to the next level. Is I mean, Callahan weighs two forty two, probably two forty five, two fifty yeah. maybe, and you weighed one ninety three, whatever. Yeah. I mean, that's a sixty pound difference. That's like three weight classes. Yeah, yeah. and we're going at it every yeah. day. I mean, we don't give a fuck, dude. That's what if Tony talked about. He one eighty one, and yep. me and him go at it every day in there. Yeah. I mean, it's just. That your guys' competition is real healthy right now too. I like that because you guys have hung out a little bit outside of the gym too, and you guys should because for us to all grow, that has to be part of it, right? Oh, dude, that competition yeah. has to be there, and that's what Tony said when those guys at Westside made all the gains. It didn't matter what weight class because he would beat some of the bigger guys. You know what I mean? From time to time, and they'd fucking hate that. But then they'd try to smash them by two hundred pounds on the right. lift. They were big. so. I think that competition is. I I thought I was going to beat Callahan the other day. I was so fucking close. And then I lost, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then I didn't. Yeah, but then I didn't. But just the fact that he had to take another one. Yeah. Like, I fucking love that because yeah. it's hard to push him at this point. He's so fucking strong. Right. I mean, he didn't wrap up until. I fucking took yeah. what I took. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got another gear, dude. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, um, I do. It's called fucking band training. Get on fucking CoreyGFitness.com, motherfuckers. Shout out. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So All right. Shout out. Fucking, I think, I think we're done. We good? Yeah. That was a great episode. It was. Round two yeah. of podcast. I'm your boy, Corey G. That's at Small Arms Danny, General of the Arms Army. Ooh. At Trey Speed, who's about to go do a powerlifting meet. I'll, I'll hit at Cole the Susak, right. the graphic gangster. In now new NMA bodybuilding the, pro the and elite that? power lifter, 4 a.m. crew motherfucker, Tyler Galbraith. <laughs> we out. <laughs> elite Corso. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>